Hello everyone and welcome back to Color Scholar. Today we are going to use Google Maps to create isometric 3D maps in Photoshop. So let's get started. First go to Google Maps at maps.google.com and choose any place you would like to make 3D. I am choosing Dusseldorf, Germany. Take a screenshot of the map with print key on your keyboard. In Photoshop make a new document and paste the map. Use any kind of selection tool to make a selection on the map. I'm using pen tool to make the selection. After the selection is complete, apply layer mask and convert the layer to a smart object. You can name it map. Now make a new document of 791 by 866 dimension. And bring the map to the walking document with the move tool. Unlock the background layer by double clicking on it and name it background. Open layer style for the background layer and apply pattern overlay at 20% opacity. Now transform the map to make it lie flat on the surface. You can use grids on background as a guide. After that right click on layer and select new smart object via copy to make a duplicate. Name it extrusion and place it below the map layer. Press ctrl plus u to bring hue saturation and bring the lightness to minus 100. Now move the extrusion a little bit below the map to give it a 3D look. Make a new layer above and using hard round brush with black color paint over the areas to complete the extrusion. Now select both layers, convert into smart object and name it extrusion. Open layer style for extrusion layer and add the following settings for inner shadow. Inner glow. Color overlay and pattern overlay. Set fill to 70%. Make another duplicate of the map layer via copy, name it drop shadow and bring it below the extrusion layer. Open up layer style and add 3 drop shadows to the layer, one at 65%, another 50% and another 30%. Make fill 0%. Make a copy of the map layer again, name it grass surface and place it below the map layer. Open layer style for the grass surface and add the following settings to inner glow, satin, gradient overlay and pattern overlay. Make a new layer above the grass surface layer and name it grass edges. Holding control on the keyboard, click on map thumbnail to make a selection of the map. Go to paths panel and select make a walk path. After that select brush tool with two different green colors as foreground and background. 
Select the grass brush with size 20 pixels. In paths panel select stroke path and choose brush. You can delete the work path now. Go to layers panel and add drop shadow to the grass edge layer. Double click on a thumbnail of the maps layer to open it in a new document. Make a new layer above it and name it road. Now select hard round brush with black color at 10 pixel size and make a tracing of the highway roads. Make a new layer and with brush size 5 pixels make the tracing of small roads. We are tracing different types of roads in different layers. Now open layer style for any one of the road layers and add the following settings for bevel and emboss. Inner shadow. Inner glow. Color overlay Pattern overlay And drop set Bring the thin road layer below the main road layer and by holding alt you can drag the effects from the top layer to the layer below. Make a third layer below the road layers. And using brush press out the reverse in the map. You can hide the road layers for better clarity of the reverse. Similarly apply layer style to the reverse layer with the following settings for bevel and emboss. Inner shadow. Inner glow. Satin The contour will be ring Gradient overlay
pattern overlay and lastly drop shadow now activate both road layers uncheck the map layer save the document and close it Make a new layer, name it gravel, select brush tool and choose dusty brush with dark brown color. Draw in some gravel around the map. Finally add a drop shadow to the gravel. You can put in some elements like buildings in the map or even texts. For the background, you can add gradient overlay from layer style with dark and light blue colors. You can adjust the position of the map by selecting everything but background layer and using transform to move it. Now you have a 3D isometric map right in front of you. And that is all for today. I hope you learned something new and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on Color Scholar.